Give, and it shall be given unto you with good measure, pressed down, and shaken together shall men give unto your bosom, for with the same measure that you give, it shall be given unto you again. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit-filled on fire, on fire with the Holy Ghost of God, her puzzle, blessed hope, rapture ready, precious brothers and sisters, gather around and be happy today. Be happy. I think I'll just be happy today. Let me know what you're going to share with PD as we begin this day together i've got my coffee and i'm gonna be happy today with cream no sugar how do you take your coffee do you even drink coffee what do you put in your coffee cream sugar double double are you gonna have some herbal tea today what are you gonna have let me know in the comment section below do that do that now be happy i think I'll just be happy today. I've got joy in my heart. Joy of the Lord. We are to be Christ-like. That's going to be my message this morning. Hang on. Mm. Oh, my. Busy day yesterday. <laughs> busy day. Again today. It's cloudy. It rained all night. And we're expecting some pretty severe uh, storms. Thunderstorms this afternoon. But I will be out. In the city of Flint with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I just want to mention our worship in the park. Oh, at the ending. God showed up because we were having a little bit of um, worry uh, with our uh, feeding the homeless in the park. And uh, Pastor, Pastor Bobby, Pastor Bobby is actually at the moment homeless. He's a minister and he's homeless. And he opened us up with prayer and he asked if he could because we got word that there's another group that uh, they only go out once a week on a Saturday but they do it right in front of uh, the courthouse on 3rd Street in uh, Flint, Michigan. And uh, they pass out clothing and, um, and serve food. A lot of cars pull up though. A lot of people that aren't homeless will take advantage of that as well. Because it's on the uh, Saginaw, it's on the main street there. And being in front of the courthouse, I guess uh, the city got wind of what they were doing and uh, shut them down. And were supposed to come and pay us a visit uh, last Sunday, but they never showed up. But instead, this beautiful, beautiful choir, a gospel choir from Saginaw, Michigan, after Pastor Bobby's beautiful, beautiful prayer, no weapon formed against this ministry shall prosper. Here at the very ending, here they come. I hear them in a the distance singing, and they're singing, the devil, he is a liar. And let me tell you something this morning, the devil, he is a liar. So we're just going to keep on and keep it on. And uh, of course, the devil is a liar, but the devil is the uh, master of all lies. So of course, he's going to come against this ministry and uh, uh, do what he can to tear this ministry down because we're saving uh, people's lives. We're feeding the homeless. We're reaching the lost. People are coming to salvation. We're reaching sinners and we're preaching the gospel, the real true gospel of Jesus Christ. So uh, keep this ministry as I go out today uh, to minister to the poor, the homeless, and the sinners in the city of Flint today. Keep us uh, lifted up in prayer. Minister announcements real quick. Um, one offering, only one offering uh, today from David uh, for $80. And that came in the other day. No other offerings have come in. We need your help. We need your help. Please consider this ministry in your heart. Pray before you give to any ministry, but please consider this ministry. We, uh, we are in a dire, dire situation here. and uh, um, We need your We can't do this without you. We can't do this. Father God, I know, is opening doors. There are so many that uh, uh, come to this channel, so many subscribers, uh, going on 30,000 subscribers now. And uh, there are those that uh, can make a difference that God has blessed. So we're praying about that. I've got to have another sip of coffee this morning. 
yes, tonight. I want to share a few things with you tonight. So tonight, definitely, we will be uh, having our live online church, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be live, our live chat room, our live fellowship, YouTube live stream. So subscribe to this channel. Click on the little bell icon in the upper right-hand corner. Oh, before I forget, a dear friend of mine, Kathy, Kathy Ferguson, I went to elementary school and high school with her when I was growing up, and we connected on Facebook. And once again, she's come through for the ministry with uh, clothing, winter clothing, and um, cold weather clothing for the homeless. So a big shout out to Kathy Ferguson from Brighton, Michigan. Christy and I drove to Brighton, Michigan uh, yesterday afternoon. And uh, what a joy, what a joy it was to see Kathy. And uh, I want to thank her and her family for the offering of clothing. Now, a lot is going on. And yes, it's still September. We're at six minutes already, my goodness. And um, yes, we had Hurricane Florence. And still the after effects is devastating. So many people lost their lives and uh, lost everything. But there's still, I've got a feeling that something major still is coming. If it's September or October, a lot going on with this Rod Rosenstein and uh, uh, making the comments about uh, invoking the 25th Amendment and wearing a wire. And uh, Judge Kavanaugh, Brent Kavanaugh, the accusations of sexual assault against him and uh, coming out at the very last moment at the very um, uh, Feinstein holds on to this information. And she's had it for a month and a half, almost two months, and she holds on to this accusation, I guess, um, until the very last moment before uh, Kavanaugh is uh, going to be voted on as justice of the uh, highest court in the land. There's a lot of corruption, a lot of corruption. And uh, we're going to have to see there's a meeting Thursday, the meeting, uh, between, if the lady shows up. Because she's going to be under a penalty of perjury if she's not telling the truth. There's just no way to uh, corroborate what she's saying. And what the uh, elite, the globalists are doing is trying to ruin this man's life. Uh, Kavanaugh and his precious wife and children. It looks like they're just trying to take him down. Anyone that Trump appoints, um, they want to obstruct and delay and ruin people's lives. Jesus, the Messiah himself, could come down from heaven to sit on and be, uh, be the ultimate judge. And they would obstruct Jesus. I mean, this is just how corrupt the world is. But I've got a feeling that Donald Trump may be uh, going to use some executive orders and just uh, clean house. Really, I'm talking about really drain the swamp. There could be civil unrest and uh, something major is coming. Something major is coming. Real quick. Uh, I want to talk more about this, but you know, the more I get on Facebook and uh, social media sites, and especially YouTube, and I see what Christians are following, we are to be Christ-like, but yet we're following those that are, I truly know, are changing the uh, the Bible uh, to fit uh, their agenda for popularity, uh, and the masses are following people that are are not really. Um, bringing you the truth and they're not being christ-like changing the book of acts and uh, the church wasn't born on uh, uh penny cost and, and, and just uh, things that just don't add up and set and, and signs and wonders that don't come to pass and following those that are uh, not walking in the light of the lord and committing uh fornication and adultery and um, it's where all of the attention is wherever is popular. Those that are promoting fear, but we're not to have a spirit of fear. They're following these channels that are constantly putting out gloom and doom. And we are to be Christ-like. There's no more time. Time is over. And let's, let me take you to some scriptures in closing. First John, the second chapter, verse six. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk. Even as he walked. We're talking about Jesus now. He that saith he abideth in Jesus himself also. Uh, so to walk even as Jesus walked. Are we walking? the walk? We're talking a talk. 
Hey man, let me preach at you just for a moment. We're talking a pretty good talk all over the internet. We've got dreams and rapture dates and uh, signs in the sky and uh, in the heavens and Revelation 12 and all over the place, all over the book of Revelation where we're not even at yet. And we're following those that are committing adultery and fornication and the prosperity gospel and the, uh, the get rich now and um, no, no outreach anywhere. They're just pumping whatever's going to sell. It's like a big marketing uh Worse than Google, what's going on on YouTube. It's marketing, market, market, market my channel. But are we being Christ-like today? 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, the first verse. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. The Apostle Paul says, be ye followers of me, even as I also am a follower of Christ. 1 Peter, the second chapter, the 21st verse. For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. But are we following in the steps, in the footsteps of our precious Messiah, our Kingsman Redeemer? I love you guys. I'm heading out right now. One more sip of coffee. Be happy today. Do not have a spirit of fear. Be Christ-like. Think of the things that we're doing. Think of the people that we're following. Is that being Christ-like? Is it Christ-like to promote oneself and to promote fear, to promote your own your own agenda here on the internet, whatever is going to draw the attention of the church today and draw their focus away from the one we're supposed to be like. Would Jesus promote fear? Would Jesus promote gloom and doom? Would Jesus promote fornication? Would he promote adultery? Is that being Christ-like? Is that being Christ-like? Would Jesus promote false lying signs and wonders? Be Christ-like, because he is with us, even until the end of the world. I love you guys. I'll put all the links below to how you can support this ministry, and we need your help, and outreach to the homeless. Shalom. God bless you guys. God bless you.